Assalamualaikum. My name is Haris bin Barisam. This is my partner. My name is Nick Muhammad Amma. And in this video, we would like to present our robotics project. This here is a bomb. It's on a 60 second timer until it explodes. And you have to defuse it. But you can't defuse it alone. Someone needs to read the manual and one person to defuse the bomb itself. The person reading the manual can't see what's happening on the bomb because the bomb is has randomized aspects. So there's a, you should, most of the time there's a different way to defuse the bomb. And, one, and the person that's diffusing the bomb can't read the manual, which means that diffusing this bomb requires teamwork and listening skill for both members, as the, the person reading the manual needs to listen to the diffuser, what the bomb looks like, and the diffuser needs to listen to the person reading the manual on how to actually diffuse it. Now we're going to demonstrate how to diffuse the bomb. Okay, so now we're going to do the demo. Um, the ammo over here has the manual and I have the bomb. I'm going to defuse it, he's going to read me the steps. So, timer will start now. Who do I do step one? Press the logo. Okay. What's the wave? Uh, the wave is inwards. Shake the bomb. Okay, next step. What's the timer? The timer is 53 seconds. If the timer is... It press the blue. But then three times. Okay. Okay. Next step. Turn the potentiometer until until there are three rows filled on the screen. Okay. Okay. What's next? Press A and B. There's an X shape. If it show X shape, hold button hold the button for two seconds. We did it. Yeah. Wait, 16 seconds left. Okay, now we're going to show what happens if you let the bomb timer run out. Okay, the timer's on 5 seconds now. And there's the explosion animation. So, that's what happens when the bomb runs out of time. Or when we run out of time to defuse the bomb. So that's it for the demo. Now I'm going to talk about how this the code of this bomb actually works. So now I'm going to explain how this bomb actually works. So in a forever loop, every second the there's a variable for a timer that will decrease. It starts at 60 for 60 seconds. And once it reaches zero, it will activate an input where it plays that little explosion animation showed in the demo and also make that losing beep sound. Speaking of variables, this one uses quite a lot of them and also some basic math to calculate what's in the different steps and when they have been done. In the form of loop, there's if statements to detect when an input is received and if the input corresponds to what's, what's required to finish the step, then it will add to another variable which counts how what the criteria for the step and once that criteria has reached enough then it will advance to the next step and i think that's all i have to say for the coding it's quite simple right? there's a lot more to it but it's not that important the important part is just the variables and the math and the inputs so that's all for this video assalamualaikum and thank you